Morning Intuitives. Uh, you know, it's going to be a quicker before work video. And thanks again, new subscribers. If you haven't subscribed and you like the videos, please subscribe. You know, let's help me with the algorithm a little bit because the deck is stacked against me. But what else is new? Anyway, uh, in one of my recent videos in the comments, you know, people seem to like the idea of why INFJs are the masters at Irish goodbyes. Some didn't even know what that term meant. So, I'm going to make a quick video about it. So, what's an Irish goodbye? Well, essentially, it's leaving a situation, a party, whatever, without telling anybody that you're leaving. You just disappear. You know, like that spirit disappears at will. And that's a common tactic used by INFJs. And please excuse me, I just took my Allegra, so it's not kicked in yet, obviously. And it's just dusty in here. Um, why do INFJs, you know, use and rely on Irish goodbyes? Well, there's, you know, like most things, there's more than one reason for that. So, you know, an Irish goodbye, as I said, is just leaving unannounced, getting out of that situation, and it's something we INFJs are the best at, without a doubt. And, you know, in these situations, we will prepare for that possibility, like it can be in many different situations, like if you're in university and you like going to the pub with your friends, but if you get drugged to a club, you know, it's like, mm, you can only tolerate that for so long. You'll be in there and look around and you'll be like, okay, if I go this way and sneak out that way, I can be out of here without anybody noticing and get the fuck home or go somewhere more where I'm more comfortable once my social battery is drained and I must recharge. Uh, another big situation, especially if you, your family is very narcissistic, family gatherings, INFJs will, from the onset of it, pre-plan sort of their Irish goodbye when they realize, like, oh, I've had a had enough of this, let's get out of here. And that's something like Ollie Matthews has said that people who's, who uh, have been victims of narcissistic abuse do as well, you know, regardless of your personality type. You constantly, especially at family functions, that was, you know, his example, you insist on being your own transportation. And I've, you know, long before, obviously, I knew anything about narcissistic abuse or watched any of Ollie's videos, I noticed that once I, you know, started driving at 16, I always insisted to drive myself to family functions because I wanted to, at any given moment, be able to walk out the door, get in my car, and get the fuck out of there. And that's, you know, doubled by the fact that I'm also an INFJ. And you have that situ situational, yeah, awareness to where you and you can see how people are acting, the way the conversations are going, what narcissists are grouping up to try to please their great queen narcissist, you know, who descended from the stars, you know, to form the true rebirth of, of Atlantis in the true sacred holy land, Chester County, Pennsylvania, a land that, you know, will one day revert to the glory days of the 1980s, and it's like the Valley of Shangri-La, because, for some people, because in Chester County, Pennsylvania, you know, no baby boomer has aged beyond the, the age of 49. They are, you know, forever in their prime, or so they think. But when you're in those situations, you'll look around, and you'll notice the way people are acting, stuff that's being said, if you're being relentlessly attacked, and then you can just make your Irish goodbye, sneak out the back door in the basement, out of your car, and, you know, before anybody notices that you're, you know, gone, that you're not taking a piss, you're down the road and out of there, which is great. So, as INFJs, that is something, like I said, that we master, and there's reasons for it. It could be just that you're, you're, social battery is drained like oh i'm in this club or oh i'm you know at this function with a bunch of other models i barely know and oh there are shadows with no substance like nobody's having a deep conversation everybody's being 
petty and shallow and materialistic and keeping up with the Joneses. And it's like, okay, you know, stupid people who said I had to come here. Ah, you saw me, you saw me, you saw me, gone. It's like, then, you know, you have that plot. Like, a lot of INFJs will do that if they're guilted into going to whatever function, be it work or family or whatever. Being able to make an Irish goodbye is our out. Because, like, we never, in some cases, like, we don't want to be here to begin with. But it's one of those things you have to go to be seen, you know. And if you're really trying to get out early and you need that evidence that, no, no, I was there. Make sure you you suck it up and have your picture taken with a couple of people. Because then there's evidence. And be like, yeah, yeah, I was there. I don't know what you're talking about. No, no, I didn't, I didn't leave that early. You just, I guess you couldn't find me in the crowd kind of thing. But... To be able to get out of those situations is something we we cherish, you know, as INFJs. The idea of either being around the wrong people or just being burnt out, you know, as far as being able to socialize, particularly with small talk and things that, you know, make our eyes roll. The idea of being able to get out of that situation whenever we want is very important to us because it is absolutely terrifying to be stuck in a situation like that, where all you want to do is like run, you're almost fight or flight, and you can't get out, and you just have to wait and wait and, you know, wait for it to be over, and it's torturous, and every hour feels like two, and it feels like it's never going to end, and then you start to, you know, isolate yourself and sit quietly, and then people notice that, so, you know, and then, then everybody wants to know, what's wrong and why you're being so quiet and, you know, why you're, you know, not into the party atmosphere like everybody else. Mm -hmm. Then maybe you drink too much. And now you're sitting qu there quiet and drunk as hell and that'll be fun for you the next day. So that's the kind of things that can happen when an INFJ cannot make an Irish goodbye. And it is important to note that it's not like we do it all the time. It's usually in a situation that we don't want to be in to begin with. But then there's that, you know, pleasing people thing where it's like, oh, I guess I'll drag myself here to go see these people I don't like. But, you know, when I feel like I've had enough, I've had enough and I got to get out of here. And sometimes, you know, it can be even in a situation, it's more rare, where you're around people that you do enjoy being around, but you've just had to be so extroverted, you know, in the days leading up to it that you're just drained. Where it's like, I work 12 hours a day, six days a week. This is my one day off. I can only take so much of this. Must recharge. Must think. Have so much to think about and process. <laughs> Haven't had a chance. That kind of thing. So, you know, don't feel too offended if you know an INFJ and, you know, they leave a function early. There can be many different reasons for that that has nothing to do with you if you are a, particularly an extroverted person and, you know, you notice that an INFJ you know is getting uncomfortable at a function, you know, try to talk to us about something of substance instead of the weather or the sports ball team, things of that nature, because that gets old real quick. And that's why the holidays can be real rough for INFJs, because it's like, oh my God, having, having to have the same small talk conversation over and over and over and over and over and over again is extremely draining. And after a while, we're just like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm done. Oh, but you have to, especially like all those family functions where you see the same fucking people wearing different clothes. It's like, I just saw you and I had nothing to say to you a week ago. Go away. You are scumbag. It's like, oh, and then, you know, in a narcissistic family, they'll be like, oh, you're such a piece of shit and you can't get with the program. And it's like, yeah, and you cheat on your wife and haven't worked since 2004. But it's like, oh, you can't say that. My mother's the, the queen narcissist. The rules don't apply to me. So, that kind of thing can happen if an INFJ is can't make an Irish goodbye and they are, you know, essentially backed in a corner to where you have no exit strategy because one thing you don't want to do to an INFJ is back us into a corner and tell us we can't say no because unlike ENFJs who will 
probably cry and hope that whoever is taking advantage of them feels guilt seeing them cry. Telling an INFJ that, you know, they have no free will and they can't say no will get real, real ragey real quick and we'll start dropping truth bombs like things, you know, that we can see and the person trying to use us doesn't want to be known. We'll make them known and if that doesn't work well, then it'll go violent kind of thing. So, yeah, ne that's my side note today. Never, never back an INFJ in the corner and try to exploit them and tell them they can't say no. That'll kick the old fight or flight off. And most INFJs, is fight or flight is fight. So, you know, see for yourself if you dare. But just remember, you know, if you're in a situation, INFJs, and you feel that there's the potential that you're going to have to make an exit early, just pre-plan for your Irish goodbye. I suggest, like, before you make it, maybe say something to the few people at the function that you actually, you know, care what think about you, and then, yeah, get out of there. Get out of there, because if you don't, you have to trust your intuition. If you know it's going south, it probably is going to go south. It's just a matter of when, and if people try to guilt you to stay, there'll be the same people blaming you for when it goes south, and you start dropping truth bombs, perhaps nuclear truth bombs. So, remember INFJs, trust your intuition. If it's time to make an Irish goodbye, it's time to make an Irish goodbye. And remember, as far as your integrity goes, if you're telling the truth, it's not your integrity, it's compromised. <laughs>